And the whole thing about the perspective of possibly losing your old man, you know, as I've always said, you don't grow up until you bury your last parent. Because when that coffin is lowered, you know that's it. Yeah. There's no more daddy, mommy, if the party is over. From ABC News. Every now and then, someone comes along who teaches the rest of us about the kind of soaring spirit that can rise above poverty, fear, or brutal environment. What's astonishing about the young man you're about to meet is that he did it at the age of 15. This morning, we are talking about children who have lost their parents to AIDS. And my next guest, Gil Alisea, has lost uh, both his mother and his baby sister to the disease. It's a memoir, a letter to you, with a postmark from one of the toughest places in the country, the South Bronx in New York City. At the age of 16, he has already authored a book. It's entitled The Air Down Here, True Tales of a South Bronx Boyhood. A place where, in the words of Gil Alisea, sometimes it seems even the air itself is against you. There, my neighborhood is harder. It's more thicker harder to breathe in, harder to see through. It's like it's polluted. I don't see stars in nothing. I don't like where I live. In the summer of 94, Gil was looking forward to a new beginning with his father, but it wasn't to be. Everything happened so fast. Within two years, uh, everything just crumbled. Everything we uh, worked for, built. You know, it got scary, it got real scary. Gil Sr. says he turned to drugs to dull the pain, and he became a stranger to his own son. I think he went to drugs uh, to escape reality. Because of your mother's death? Yeah. He escaped, he tried to escape reality, which the only person who was really hurting was himself, and also it was hurting me. 